Windborne. Is it worth a buy? Let's read. Let's just read. Windborne brings social sandbox creation games to the next level. So it's Minecraft then. Explore a vibrant world filled with secrets to unlock and treasures to find. Craft personalised furnishings and innovative artefacts and befriend intriguing djinn to help build a new civilization. Wow! Well guys, I've been playing this game now for three hours and uh, I have to say I bloody love it. I do. It's, it's, it's just, it's just guys. I mean, it's Minecraft. Right, it's based on, it's obviously they've stole Minecraft's base idea and they've said, you know what, that's a bloody good idea, what not just come up with with Minecraft. And, you know, I can imagine a meeting taking place, it's like, it's gone somewhat like, uh, hey, you know, Minecraft came out like a few, few months ago and uh, everybody's buying it. Oh yeah, yeah, Minecraft, yeah. And it looks shit, doesn't it, Minecraft? It's all f***ing blocks. It looks, looks wank. But it's a great fun game. Well, Notch seems to be rolling in the money at the minute and just having bats in all the money with just smothering himself in banknotes and he doesn't seem to care about Minecraft now. He's, he's just loving the money. Shall we just sneak in and make a game of what Minecraft really should have been? And they've kind of ninjaed this out, guys, because what they've done here is they've done what f***ing Notch should have done this year or last year. You see, where Minecraft has, and I'm not going to say failed because it clearly hasn't failed. It's sold by the f***ing million. Max, stop swearing. You don't need to swear. This is a nice, cute, cute game. It has cute sheep in. You do not want to hear you say the f***. So I'm not going to swear. Uh, the Minecraft looks shit. It just does. And this looks incredible. It just does. And this can do everything Minecraft can do and a shit load more. The crafting in this is awesome, guys. It's just f***ing awesome. Like you said, you weren't going to swear. But it is. It's f*** off, I'll swear. It's f***ing awesome. F*** you, sheep with f***ing wings. Mac. Sorry guys, I'm just getting carried away here because it is, it is, th there is things I don't like about this. I don't like the idea that the worlds are floating in the sky and that you have to help these little f***s called the djinn. Mac. You haven't even come across the djinn. I just know I'm not going to like them because I've seen the picture of them and they look like little twats. And I don't care about helping little twats. I just want to help myself build a whole big bloody house. Macura, you know, you don't deserve a game like this. Well off anyway sorry guys I'm back to the review uh, what I like about this is the crafting I love the crafting I love the mining I love that you don't have to make a pickaxe that you can just go and you just use your hands and just say, I have the power I will pull this ground from up under me and hold it in my hand and I will throw it over there I just love that that whole f***ing concept that you can just do all powerful things huh? I can't cross this chasm ha 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 but I can I shall walk on f***ing leaves down 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 it's just it's just great it's great and it is co-op it's multiplayer they're gonna add monsters and shit so I read and they're just the world is your oyster you can build what the hell you want I know that if I practice and do well at this I'll be able to build some amazing things and invite me friends onto my little place and we can build together and live happily ever after and you know it, it's it's just it's just got so much potential. It's really, really early. Um, if you are heavily into Minecraft style games, I suggest you buy this. It's not cheap. It is a bit expensive for what you get at the minute, guys. And I'm sorry for this review being a bit disjointed, but I have only got, I'm still doing the tutorial for crying out loud, but I wanted to bring this onto the Worth a Buy channel now to bring it to your attention because I haven't even heard of it. And so I'm just bringing this to your attention. It's probably too early to even suggest whether or not it's worth a buy. This is a definite one to keep your eyes on as it develops through alpha into beta and then into release. Um, they have big plans for this and I am definitely, definitely coming back to this one uh, in about two months time. I'm going to keep playing it because I actually like it. Um, the, the world that you're looking at in this playthrough is a very small world. Uh, but you can, uh, there is an option for 
medium and large but it's not active yet so um, that's to come in an, a future release but at this moment in time it's great little thing to, to build on and uh, each world is randomly generated using map seeds and uh, you have to help the these little freaks build up their civilization again and i'm sure i'll come across them rather soon um, but at the moment it's in very very early access and i think it's 22 pounds which is a bit a bit steep it's 22.99 so 23 pound guys uh, if you're heavily into minecraft it is probably worth taking a look if you're kind of on the fence then i suggest you wait uh, i will be coming back to this and uh hopefully i'll be seeing that it's just got better and better and better but this is windborne it's a building crafting awesome looking game and it has cute little flying sheep that go Bah! And uh, yeah, I did lock one in a little prison. But I let it out again at the end. You know, I'm, I'm not a heartless bastard. I just wanted to see if I could torture one back here. So this is Windboard, guys. I'll uh, I'll say a thumbs up at the minute. I'm going to give it a thumbs up at the minute. But, you know, it's early, early, early access. You might want to hang on a few months when I come back and do a more in-depth review.